Hi guys, welcome back. As you saw in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to makeup routine. Um, several of you guys have asked me for it, but I haven't done it because I don't have the best setup to do a makeup tutorial or routine. And also I film on my iPhone, so I don't think it's the best to actually, you know, showcase what the makeup is looking like and stuff. But I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do it because, you know, y'all want to see it. And I don't know, I kinda wanna do it. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do <laughs> when I feel like doing my makeup, which is rare. So right now, I don't have any makeup on at all. The only thing I've done is um, cleanse and moisturize my face. And I have on um, some Burt's Bees chapstick and pomegranate. That's my go-to everyday chapstick, love it. And I have on my lip oil by Ulta Beauty. It is the juice infused lip oil in cranberry pomegranate. So yeah, I just, I don't like for my lips to be feeling dry, especially, you know, while I'm trying to beat my face. So, oh yeah, by the way, don't mind my nails. They are blue because I recently <laughs> recolored my hair. But yeah, just to throw that out there in case anybody noticed. But the first thing I would do would be to do my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I've been using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. And it's like a little mascara wand. So I've been doing this because I don't know, I've been liking more natural looking brows recently. So I just kind of go through and fill them in. I am looking in a mirror. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So I just go through and pretty much lightly swipe it onto my brow in areas that look a little, you know, empty, hairless. And while I'm doing this, I like to kind of go along the outside of my brow to even it out a bit if I can. And as you can see, it just gives it like a subtle little feel, you know, in comparison to this side, you see it looks a little you know, a little empty over here. And this is just kind of just fills it in a bit. So that's how I've been liking to do my brows. Now I'm just going to do the other side. My brows tend to look more like cousins than um, <laughs> twins or even sisters. That's okay. And this is a lot easier when your brows are freshly, you know, done up. I used to get my eyebrows waxed, but now I get them threaded. Um, it's been about a week since I got them threaded, and that's when they start looking their best anyway, about a week old to me. Okay, so once I've filled in my brows, I like to go in and line them up. <laughs> that's pretty much what you're doing. So normally, like sometimes I'll make a mistake and go too far outside the... Um, outside of my brow. So the concealer just helps to line it up a bit. And I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe. This is pretty much the color of my skin, about as close as it gets concealer wise. So I like to use this because it is close to my skin color. I don't like a super bright um, concealer to outline my brows with. So all I'm going to do is Outline above and below. Just to clean it up a bit. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And by the way, y'all, I am by... <laughs> 
no means a professional you will see that as you're watching this video about some of the stuff that i do and how i don't know brush names and stuff and i just use whatever works for me so um but once i've outlined it i just take my finger case in point <laughs> and i just kind of wipe it away i wipe the concealer away or blend and wipe so i wipe like the edges off and then i'll blend the rest and i tend to just like wipe it on a paper towel or the inside of my makeup bag whatever i have <laughs> I've done that. I would normally go in with a small angled brush and just like brush through my brows a bit just to make sure it's evenly blended out, but I can't find my brush and they look fine. So I'm just going to go to my next step. So the next thing I would do would be to prime my face and I've been using and really liking the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. It says it is an ultra smoothing primer and it's definitely very smoothing. So I just take this and apply it all over my face. I think it, is, it has a silicone consistency. It's supposed to soften the appearance of imperfection and prolong the wear of makeup. So I just take it and I kind of just work it in like, kind of like you would a lotion, I guess. But it sprays really nicely so you don't need a whole, whole lot of it. So. Uh, just take that and apply it to my entire face okay once i've primed i would go in with my eyeshadow <laughs> but i rarely ever do eyeshadow so um on my lids i'll just go in with some bronzer as like my eyeshadow and so i take this kind of brush, I don't know what kind of brush this is. I don't know what it's supposed to be used for, but I use this when I'm doing it like this with my bronzer. And then I just take my bronzer of choice. And I like to use this bronzer by Black Radiance in Ginger Snap. And this is a shimmer bronzer, so that's why I like to use it on my lid. It's like this pretty like gold bronzy color. So I just like to take this little brush and swipe that along my eyelid area. And my go-to makeup look is like super natural. I don't like doing like, like extravagant makeup looks. First of all, I'm not a pro, so I don't even know if I'm capable of doing that, <laughs> but it's just not my preference. I like the natural glowy makeup look. So that tends to be what I go for. Even when I do actual eyeshadow, I normally just put like a gold on my lid. Gold bronzy color. Okay. So as you can see, it's like a subtle difference. You can't really too much tell that it's there, but it just gives it like a nice glow in my opinion. So once I've done that, I do go in with my foundation. And y'all finding like a perfect match for me has been a struggle for like forever until recently. <laughs> So I have the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 385. This is like my skin in a bottle. It's like my perfect match color. And then I also have the Born This Way Foundation um, by Too Faced in the shade Butter Pecan. It's one of the shades that Jackie Aina um, helped formulate. And I'm actually going to be mixing both of these. The Born This Way matches me really well as well, but this one is an even better match, but this one is pretty close to my perfect match too. But I'm going to be mixing these together because I love the finish of the Born This Way foundation, 
but I like the longevity that I get and the color of the Fenty foundation. So when I mix them together, it's like just perfect. Cause yeah, the Fenty is a soft matte long wear foundation and the Born This Way is, I think it's a natural, probably natural to glowy type of foundation. Um, it's supposed to have undetectable medium to full coverage. So yeah, I'm going to be mixing these two. I just put them on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take just a pump of each one. And the Fenty foundation is, this is the Born This Way. It's a lot thicker than the Fenty. The Fenty is a lot more runny and it also dries super fast. So that would be something to keep in mind. As you can see, those are what the colors are looking like. And I'll just blend them. I don't know if you guys could tell from just looking at it on my hand, but they're pretty much almost exactly the same color. Almost. I think the Born This Way might be just a tad bit more warm, but I found that neutral foundations tend to work best on my skin tone. So I'm guessing that means that I'm neutral. Because these are both supposed to be neutral foundations. So I just like to pat it onto my face with my finger. And I told you that the Fenty dries super fast. So I'm going to be doing one side at a time. I'm just taking my Real Techniques. Uh, it doesn't say what type of brush it is, but I think it's just their foundation um, blending brush and I'm just going to be patting this in. And my face is lighter than my neck and chest area as is the case with most people I've noticed. So I do try to match those areas. So my foundation does tend to be a bit darker than my face. Like, as y'all can see, it's like my perfect match. <laughs> Gotta be looking out. <laughs> uh, just go ahead and finish applying it to the rest of my face. And I personally don't like to put a whole lot on my forehead because my forehead tends to be a bit darker than the rest of my face. Plus I'm going to be bronzing. So I just don't see the point really. So once I've finished applying it all over my face, I like to go in with my real technique sponge. And I don't know, it just kind of, I feel like it kind of helps make it look even more skin-like. That's the type of finish that I like, a skin-like finish. It might be all in my head, but I like to do it anyway. <laughs> and it is damp. And I, yeah, it is broken too. I don't know how I did that, honestly. This is the one I use for my foundation, so. The tip doesn't really matter too much. So once I've applied my foundation, I like to go in with my concealer. And for my concealer, I like to use the Maybelline Instant. Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I don't know why they worded it like that. They read so odd. But yeah, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. <laughs> and then I use the shade Caramel. And I'm going to be using this to highlight the areas I like to highlight. I also don't like for my concealer to be super brightening or to use a whole lot of it, personally. I like to use just a very little bit on my forehead. So those are the places that I highlight. <laughs> then I'll take my sponge that I use for concealer 
I just washed this prior to the last time I did my makeup, so it's not super dirty. You know, it ain't dirty dirty, it's just a little tinted. <laughs> but I just take this and blend, blend, blend. And I am using the tip of another Real Techniques complexion sponge. As you can see, it's not super highlighted, but just like a slight, like subtle brightening effect. So to set my concealer, I like to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I just take a bit of that and tap it into the top. I do want to try the um, Sasha Buttercup powder. So if anybody's tried that, let me know how you like it. I'm scared of it being like super yellow, but the Laura Mercier is a great powder. It leaves your makeup looking good for a good amount of time. I love it. It was one of the first powders I found that can actually um, somewhat control my oil. So I just dip the beauty blender into there and I apply to all the areas that I highlighted. My nose, I put it on the part that I concealed and I just put it all over my nose because my nose is one of the first places I get oily. Specifically in these creases right here. So I like to go a little heavy with the powder in those areas. A little, a little crazy right now, but just wait. What really brings the face all together is like, to me, um, when you spray it down to set it, it just like fixes everything. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is bronzing. Bring some of that color back into my face that I just took out with that Laura Mercier. <laughs> and um, to bronze my face, I am using the Black Radiance. I think it's a pressed foundation powder. It just says pressed powder on the back. I can barely read it. The words are like all wiped off and stuff, but um, it is in the shade Ebony. I think it says 861. I'll try to link everything down in the description box, of course. I just take this angled brush. I really do think this is a bronzing brush. I believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's for bronzing. That's what I use it for. <laughs> and I just go through and add that warmth back into my face. Um, I go underneath my cheekbones. As you can see, I like to pat it on, and then I go through and blend. Gonna give me some of my color back. You can go as heavy or as light with this as you would like. Personally, I try to go a little bit heavier because I noticed when I put it on, it's like it be looking like I ain't do nothing. So more recently, I've been using a bit more. And I'll take it along my jawline. You know my nerves. I like to take some on my forehead, like I said earlier, so I don't go super ham with the foundation. I like to take this into my hairline a bit too, so then I ain't looking cray cray out here. Trying to minimize this five head. <laughs> 
and then I like to take some with this brush. I know this is a foundation brush, but I use this for my nose contour. And um, I literally just take this brush and like lightly tap it into the powder, like literally the smallest amount because this can look really harsh really fast. And I just take it and I lightly, lightly just brush it on in here. Yeah. I don't like to do too much because Danny be acting like he don't want to blend out and looking like you just got dark lines on your face. <laughs> subtle difference and do the same to the other side and then sometimes I'll go back in with my um, real technique sponge that I use for my concealer and just blend that nose contour out a little bit more then I like to take my pressed powder by Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 330 Toffee. And I'll take a proud powder, take a powder brush, and just go into that a bit, just a bit. And literally take this and go all over my face to help further blend out everything. I feel like this just helps to even everything out. So after that, I like to take the bronzer that I used earlier on my eyelids and just put some of that on my lower lash line. I feel like it just helps to brighten up my eyes a bit more. So I'm just using this brush. It's actually out of my Naked 2 palette. <laughs> This is obviously an eyeshadow brush because it was an eyeshadow palette. So <laughs> I'm just going to be taking this and using, which side do I want to use? I'm going to use the more fluffy side of the brush just because I want it to look more carefree, not super even. And I'm just lightly brushing it onto my lower lash line. Okay, and then I like to go in with one of my favorite things and it is highlighter. And I use the ColourPop highlighter in Candyman. I think they discontinued this one, which I'm super hurt by. I don't know what I'm gonna use when I run out. <laughs> But I've had this for like forever. I have started hitting pan now, but I've had it for a good long while and I just love it. It's my go-to. So I'm gonna take this little bitty brush. You can't even see the top of it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, a brush like this, I think it's for the inner tear duct. So I don't know, that's what I use it for. And I just dip it into my um, highlighter and put some in my inner tear ducts. And I take that same brush I applied the bronzer on my lids with and apply some highlighter to my brow bone. And I take a brush like this. I don't know. I think this is probably a bronzing brush. Oh, it actually does say bronzing brush on it. <laughs> Anyways, I use this for highlighter on my the apples of my cheek so I just dab it into here and then I just pat pat it onto my cheeks just like so and I use my finger to blend it out a bit as you can see it's just like a golden bronzy like highlighter color this is the side that i have not highlighted yet versus the side that i have highlighted 
and it just depends on the day. Sometimes I go heavy, sometimes I go light. It just depends on how I'm feeling when I'm applying my makeup that day. Do I want to glow or do I want to glow? <laughs> and I take my finger and just dab it in there a bit and then put some on the tip of my nose. And I'll sometimes take some just a little bit and put it right here. I don't like to highlight my entire nose because it's going to get oily throughout the day. And then it's going to be super shiny. So I just do the tip and then right there. And so once I've done that, I like to take my setting spray. And I've been using this setting spray by Hard Candy. It is their long wear sheer envy setting spray. It's supposed to be fade resistant, it fights humidity, and it has cucumber extract, and it's supposed to be for 12 hour wear plus hydration. I think I like it. I think I like it, I'm not super sure. I got it from Walmart, but that's because I was being cheap and I hadn't repurchased my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. And it's supposed to, this is a makeup setting mist as well. And it's supposed to prolong makeup wear and keep it from moving, melting, or settling into fine lines. I love this stuff, so I only have a little bit of this left. I'm actually, I'm gonna repurchase this. I'm gonna spray this today to see what I can get out of here. I think I stopped using it because it was spraying out like weird. As you guys saw, I like to go ham with the setting spray. Primarily to help combat all that powder I use. <laughs> so my next step is mascara. And I have been loving the Simply Naked Beauty 3D Fiber Mascara. I've talked about it on my Instagram quite a bit. But you guys get to see me applying it in action here in this video. I do have a coupon code for this. If anybody is interested in buying this, go ahead and use that coupon code and help your girl out a little bit. <laughs> but I'll leave that down in the description box. I can't remember what it is. I think it's Sakara 10, but I'll double check and put it in the description box if anybody's interested. But the thing about this, it is a two-step mascara. Um, it takes a little while to apply, especially um, depending on the look you're going for. I normally apply about three coats. Um, if I wanted to be more dramatic than that, I would do more, but two to three coats is what I tend to apply so the first step is the gel and you just apply a layer of that to your lashes and i like to use this because i suck at putting on um false lashes and this kind of gives me that false lash look without having to put on falsies and i think i got mine in the shade Midnight Black. It doesn't say it on here, but I'm pretty sure it's Midnight Black. So you just coat the lashes with the gel. You apply it to each side and then it's supposed to dry. And then you go back in with another coat of the gel. And this is when you're gonna start applying the fibers. And you want to immediately go in with step two, which is the fibers. And just put that from the mid length to the tips of the lashes. You don't want to go too um, far down with this because it will feel like there are there is something in your eye. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> been there it tells you to apply it from mid lengths to the tips i was just hard-headed and applied it from the bottom of my lashes all the way to the tips then you go in with the gel again just to secure the fibers into place And then you do the same thing to the other side. 
Now I told you guys I like to do that whole process two or three times. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to bore you guys with it and make you watch it <laughs> um, the full three times that I do it. But that's how you apply it. And to get it off, all you would need to do would be to use a washcloth with warm water and just hold it on your lashes for, I think, about 20 to 30 seconds. And then start to, like, move it from side to side and it just loosens up the fibers and they come right off. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying it and I'll come back once I'm done applying it um, to show you guys the next step in my makeup routine. I forgot to mention that it comes with this eyelash brush to help remove excess um, fibers or to help minimize clumping. So once I've done the last step, sometimes I'll go in with this and just brush my lashes out a bit. That's just a quick little FYI. Okay, here are what my lashes are looking like. I did go ahead and do three coats. Now I don't use that on my bottom lashes. <laughs> I use just a regular mascara. And the regular mascara that I like to use is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. So I'm just gonna go in with that on my lower lashes. Probably about twice on each side. Two coats. Hairs on my lashes are fine, just like the hairs on my head. So the lashes on my lower um, lash line are almost non-existent. And the last thing I like to do is my lips. At this point, the <laughs> chapstick and lip oil are pretty much about gone, so I don't even need to wipe it off. But I like to use this e.l.f. lip palette. It's the Mis Amores um, lip palette. Um, I think it's the collab with, oh it is, it's the collab with Iris from YouTube, Iris Balin. And I really like it. I only use like... <laughs> two colors primarily let me see if y'all can see but yeah that's what it looks like and i usually go in with this brownish brownish nude color here or this peachy nude color right next to it it's looking more pink on camera but it's definitely not that pink in person i think i'm gonna go with the brown nude one today and i'm just i don't know i just i like glosses and I like nude glosses because they're not like, you know, they're nude. I used to love matte lipsticks back in the day. <laughs> so I have like so many of them but as I got older I started liking glosses more and nude glosses at that so that's pretty much what I do um, here is the finished makeup as you can see it's really natural and glowy um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and come back and show y'all what I would look like you know like walking out the door <laughs> And I'll come back. Okay, y'all, here is the completed look with my hair down and all. Um, don't mind the difference in length in my hair. I was filming a product battle for you guys, so I have a bit more shrinkage over here, but you know, just ignore that. So here's what it's looking like. This is my go-to makeup. And then, you know, how it's looking all together with the hair down and stuff. Here it is from further away from the lighting. As you can see, the foundation is like a perfect match to my neck and chest area. You know how it's just so amazing to find a perfect foundation match. And I found two that are really close and I'm able to mix them together and get the best consistency. <laughs> Here it is up close.
So yeah, y'all, that was my go-to makeup routine. I hope it was helpful for those of you who wanted to see it. As I said earlier, I will try to link all the products that I use down in the description box for anybody who is interested. But other than that, that's it. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.